Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement. Down or down, down, okay? So today we are going to add some new sea animal figurines to our collection. Alright, okay? So I've just ordered these figures online and they just arrived yesterday. So I'm very excited. Let's have a look at all of them together. Let's do this. Alright guys, so let's begin by taking a look at this huge one. So let's open this. It's nicely bubble wrapped. And what do we have right here? I think it's um, a wheel. Let's have a look at this. It's from Collecte. And this one, it should be a right wheel. Yep. Let's see whether it comes with any facts. I don't think so. Alright, so I'm just going to throw um, the price tag away. Let's have a look at this. A beautiful right wheel. It's definitely a huge figure. And this is our second right wheel in our collection you can see plenty of detailing on this figure it looks very nice and it also says collecting right wheel right at the bottom and this is actually a 2002 figure it's quite a new figure very cool i love this all right let's move on to the next one let's have a look at this this seems to be two shots inside oh there are actually quite a few Okay, let's have a look at this. This one, it should be the Goblin Shark. And this is also from Collecte, if I'm not wrong. So it's really nice. So this is our first Collecte Goblin Shark. Really, really beautiful. Let me just try to remove this little price tag. So there you go, a really beautiful Goblin Shark. And you can see the mouth, which is extending. So the mouth is not usually in this position or in this pose. This only happens when it is about to feed on the prey. So the mouth will actually extend. So yep, it looks kind of gruesome. Yep, so there you go. But Goblin Shark can only be found in the very deep ocean waters. Really beautiful figure. I'm hoping to add a few more new sharks to my collection. Yep. Alright, next up, let's have a look at this one. This is actually a dolphin, an Amazon dolphin, also known as a Botu. So to be honest, this is our first Botu figure, although we do have a mini figure, but this is our first um, medium to large size figure of a Botu. So really beautiful. Amazon River Dolphin. I just got this from a China online store because, you know, it has all the latest collective figures Super excited about, you know, seeing them. You can see Amazon River Dolphin, our very first figure. This is also our first Goblin Shark figure, as in, you know, from one of the um, bigger companies like Safari, LTD, Papo, and Schleich. Okay, next up, let's have a look at this, which is the Blue Dragon, also known as the Blue Sea Slug. And this is actually from Bully Land, okay? So it comes with a little sticker, but I'm not too sure whether it has a name below. I don't think so. It doesn't look... Oh, okay, let's uh, remove this. And you can see it has the Bully Land logo right at the bottom. And it says hand-painted. Very beautiful. So you can see this little... It's a blue dragon. It's not a fish. So it's kind of like a sea slug. Really, really beautiful. This is actually how it looks like in real. So beautiful blue dragon, our first, our one and only blue dragon in our collection. So I'm trying to expand my sea animals collection, that's for sure. Okay, next up, this one looks like a shock ray, but I can't remember what is the exact name of this, but we will take a look, okay? We'll take a look at what is written below. But first, let me just remove this little tag. All right. Beautiful. It looks like a shark ray. You can see it is really flat. Let's take a look at the name. Angel Shark. I don't have an Angel Shark and I've never heard of, heard of an Angel Shark before. So this is basically my first time looking at an Angel Shark figure. Really beautiful. 2002 as well. So these are basically the latest collecte sea animals. I'm going to find more collect sea animals. You know, hopefully we're able to find more species. I think that is um, really, really nice. 
Okay, next up, let's open this. This one is actually um a figure manufactured by um a Chinese company which doesn't really have its name. I think it's known as the Animal Paradise. Okay, I think they produce quite cool figures. And this one is actually known as a tiger puffer fish. Yep, tiger puffer fish, I think. Looks really beautiful. Very, very nice. I love it. Next up, let's open this. This one could be a bootleg of a Safari LTD figure. It is a jellyfish. So jellyfish comes in all shapes and all sizes. So, you know, it's really hard to tell the exact species, but you can see if this one looks really, really pretty. Looks really beautiful. It has um, plenty of um, tentacles and you can see all the tentacles are actually translucent. You can slightly see through them. Beautiful. And there are more tentacles inside, you know, which is of um, different texture and shape. The head actually looks like um, a mushroom. <laughs> yeah, but very, very beautiful. I love the colors. I think it looks so cool. This color actually blends with our logo, our Dan Surprise logo. Yep. Next up, let's have a look at um, this one. Oh, this is a stonefish. Let me just get this out of the pack. Yep, this is a stonefish. Beautiful stonefish. I don't think the colors are accurate because I think the stonefish it's more towards brown color. And you can see the face looks actually looks kind of dorky, kind of like silly. <laughs> yeah. The mouth is like really huge. Yeah, it looks really really funny. But yep, stonefish, our very first stonefish in our collection. So plenty of first in this video. Super excited about that. And here, we have a sea anemone. Is that how you pronounce it? Anemone, I think so. Sea anemone, right here. So sea anemone, like the jellyfish, they, comes in, um, they come in all sorts of colors and shapes. So this is actually one of them. Some of the sea anemones that will actually, I think not, probably majority of the sea anemones, they will actually capture fish as prey. Of course, there are some of the fish that can um, linger around them, you know, which are like their, um, you know, uh, what do you call that? They're basically friends, friends with the sea anemones. The sea anemones don't eat them, so the little fish help to attract the bigger fish close to the sea anemone. Very, very beautiful. Love this. Okay, next up. This is a box fish, guys. Beautiful box fish. We do have a mini box fish in our collection, which I'm gonna show you guys later on. We'll try to find we'll try to find it and do a comparison. Of course, this doesn't really look like a box as compared to the um the one that we have. I'm just gonna shift um the camera over here. Uh, I'm just gonna do like a very quick search. If we are not able to find it, then we will have to wait, you know, for some time. Oh, this penguin shouldn't be here because I've actually placed the penguins in another box. Oh, maybe the penguins are still should be still here. Okay, it's okay. We'll take a look at this figure first before we take a look at our other collection. Okay, so box fish, really beautiful. And they've actually colored this, you know, a color which is quite similar to a blue tang. Okay, but I think this is a really nice one. So these are basically some of the new sea animals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten sea animals that we have just added to our collection. Extremely happy about these figures. I'm hope I'm you know I, I want to get more to add to my collection. Hopefully you guys you know love this. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you like new figures. Okay. I'm definitely planning to get more new figures, okay? Now let's take a look at our collection right here. All right, guys, so the new sea animals that we have just added are lined up right here at the bottom of the screen. So we'll take a look at the other one. So we have a blue tang right here. Blue tangs, they are able to change, you know, their blue, you know, to a lighter shade or 
a darker shade. And here we have a flying fish. It has two pairs of wings right here. Really beautiful, translucent wings. Next, we have a polar bear. Looks really beautiful. And here we have an Atlantic bluefin tuna. These figures are basically, you know, in my collection for quite some time. And here we have a, or rather an anglerfish right here, okay? So this thing right here can actually emit light. And here we have a puffer fish. Okay, you can see it has plenty of spikes. And this one, it should be a bear. So I'm gonna put this aside first. And here we have a catfish. The whiskers actually help it to find its way in the murky water. Piranha, well known for being a man-eating fish. Yep. Let's see what else we've got. We have a weedy sea dragon, which looks like a seahorse. And we should have a seahorse somewhere in the box. Koi fish, two of them. They are able to live up to 100 or even 200 years old. And here we have another polar bear. And this one is actually from Peppo. Really beautiful one. This is a Goliath grouper. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. Another anglerfish right here with a little light bulb in front. And here we have a sturgeon. All right. Polar bear cop. Looks so cute and adorable. Another anglerfish. This figure can actually swim. You know, just need to replace the batteries. Okay, next up, we have a longfish. L U N G. Longfish. And here we have a sea lion. Okay, beautiful one. Let's see what else we've got. A mini walrus. And here we have a huge one. This is from Safari LTD. Looks really beautiful. And another walrus right here. This is from Weno, a brand from Hong Kong. Leopard seal with plenty of spots. And what is this? Manatee. All right, from Safari LTD. So manatees, they look quite similar to dugongs. But here we have another manatee right here from Collecte, which was contributed by a Dan Safarian. And this one, it's one from Peppo. Very beautiful. Let's see what else we've got. We have a blue tank. And um, we should have another one. Yep, I think I've shown you guys just now. The other blue tank. And here we have a spotted seal. Okay, beautiful one. Let's see what else we've got. And not a walrus. Salmon fish, which you guys are quite familiar with. Sailfish. Okay. This is a Nile bircher. Okay. And this is another bircher right here. Yep, it could be an alligator bircher. Largemouth bass. And this one should be a bass as well. Silver bass. Yep, I just want to make sure I didn't get the fish mixed up. Another sea lion. Nice. This is known as an arowana. So we have two different variations. This is a golden arowana and this one is a red one. Arowanas are extremely popular as um, an aquarium pet. This is a ras. Yep, a humpback ras if I'm not wrong. Um, this is the um, Oh my goodness, I suddenly can't remember the name. It's known as the alligator... Alligator fish, if I'm not wrong. We have two of them. Very beautiful. Alligator? What is the name? What is the, the, the full name? I just suddenly can't recall. Flatfish. So you can see the eyes are all both on one side. And it is a fish that lies flat on the ocean seafloor. 
very very unique leopard seal clownfish okay another clownfish and this is actually the most super adorable check out the face a penguin I'm not too sure whether the penguins should be in this box I think it should be placed in a different box because I don't see the other penguins here and this is a dugong yep so I'm definitely going to put the penguins into a different box frogfish okay beautiful one um this one is known as the gold piece eel silocanth a prehistoric fish okay spotted seal let's see what else we've got a mini sea lion whale shark mini whale shark shouldn't be in this box totally can't remember this fish um this one if i'm not wrong it's a red snapper and this one it's a crucian cop i think so and this one it should be a bass no it should be a snapper as well previously we have a red snapper and this one is a, a silver snapper i suppose I'm not exactly sure so i definitely need the help of you guys and this figure i can't remember what is the name so definitely need plenty of your help same goes with this fish this is the fox face rabbit fish harp seal this one i need the, the help of you guys polar bear i'm gonna put it right in the blue dragon i'm gonna put it into the box as well yep this is the other box fish so you can see this one looks more like a box as compared to this one this one looks more rectangular but of course you know the face actually looks very very similar okay all right i actually went to um open the door because you know the mailman just came and i'm very excited because he's just sent me a new jurassic world figure which i'm gonna review on dan surprise tomorrow so make sure you check out dan surprise tomorrow there are a couple of new figures pretty excited okay and this one right here is actually a red fish Okay, let's see what else we've got. Mini blue tank. Sea lion. Our box is really full. I'm really running out of space when it comes to um, um, the collection. So yeah, I, I we don't really have um, more spaces for boxes as well. So I definitely need to figure out. Yeah, but Mrs. Dan will be shifting some of her, you know, her work stuff to her new shop. So I, I may get a lot more shelf space in the future so very excited about that we have a mini dugong here's another dugong and here we have a baby polar bear super adorable another polar bear okay so the shock i'm definitely going to place it into the shock box we will probably do a shock update very soon a shark collection update very soon because we have a new goblin shark we also have a new angel shark i'm gonna try to read up more facts about the um, goblin shark as well as the angel shark so when you come back i'm definitely going to tell you guys more facts atlantic bluefin tuner and a manatee right here so yep sea anemone i'm gonna place this into the jellyfish and the crabs collection box same goes with this jellyfish for this which is the puffer fish will go into this box polar bear into this box and we have this huge fish I'm gonna place it right inside but i can't remember what's the name of this fish i'm definitely going to take like a photo and try to find out the name maybe let me just do it right now Okay, so after a couple of minutes of searching, we have realized that this is actually known as a sea robin or also known as a gurnard. So yep, it is a kind of a bottom dwelling fish which is which can be found on the um, seafloor 
I mean, it doesn't have to be really deep, and um, they basically feed on the little organisms uh, on the ocean seafloor. So, sea robin, I will remember this, that's for sure. Okay, and here we have a stonefish, which I feel the colors is not very right. I mean, it could be this color, not too sure. We shall see. Okay, and um, right here we have a seahorse, another clownfish, fox faced rabbit fish, and what else we've got? I think that's all. Yep, so very happy to add some of these very cool new figures to my collection. So, yep, extremely happy, especially with this one, which is our blue dragon. You know, we also have um, a goblin, goblin shark, angel shark, sea anemone, jellyfish. We have um, Amazon river dolphin, which is also known as a botu. Very cool. Very excited and very happy to have added some of these new figures, okay? I want you guys to comment down below which one is the most favorite new sea animal figure which I have added to my collection today, okay? Let me know down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.